Good morning, good morning, good morning, my brothers and sisters. I um, I wanted to get you to see something. The times that we're living in, we're living in that in, in perilous times. We're living in the last days, and I just want to read something t- uh, to you out of Scripture, and it's in Second Timothy, the fourth chapter. Second Timothy four, Second Timothy four, and it says uh, Ch- September four. Uh, and the uh, fourth chapter in the second verse it says that it reads preach the word be instant in season out of season reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine for the time will come when there will be a there will they will not endure sound doctrine but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables but watch thou in all things and do infliction do the work of an evangelist make full proof of thy ministry so in other words the scripture says that in the last days in the days that we're living in People don't want to hear sound doctrine. They don't want to hear the truth. But they want to go out to fables. They want to hear stuff and things and words that, that will itch the ear. That will gratify their flesh. And so we're living in that time and we're living in that season. And so, but what we have to do as believers is trust God and always hold on to truth. See, because it's the truth that's going to make you free. The truth that's going to set you free. And so it's imperative, it's so important to listen and to hear. Jesus said, the scripture says, God says, the day that you hear my voice, heart not your heart. And see, the reason why God is speaking is because there's something that you need to hear that's going to protect your heart. But when you don't listen to those words that he sent to you that's bringing life, you, it's going to cause destruction, it's going to cause pain. It, it's going to call all kind of stuff. That's why also it says that it's going to cause you to perish. Also, the scripture says that God says his people perish for the lack of knowledge. Not, not because he's not speaking, but as the scripture says that it because they rejected my knowledge. Do not, do not, do not, my brothers, do not, my sisters, reject what God is speaking. Don't reject it. Don't reject it. Don't reject it. As he said, rend your heart. And not your garment, because in, in him there's life, and life more abundantly. Is that all right? God bless you.